wee bit of a gap at the back of the Connacht lineout. Well taken by Mike McCarthy, who's had a very successful season with both Connacht and particularly with Ireland. This is Flavin taking it forward. Referee says they'll have to play it if he calls again. Good work by Dan Tui. Now, did he take that down illegally? I don't think so. It's slow ball and they have to use it. Taken on by Swift. By 35 years of age. Marmion. Connor being very direct. Chris Henry in the firing line. Marmion for Parks. And again the kick. And he's given that a fair little bit of height underneath it. Is Trimble. Wonderful take by Trimble. Jared Payne was with him. Pienaar looking to see if there's any, anything in the way of options. And the answer is there isn't. And he's got himself caught. Well, Connor have stolen that. This could be interesting. There's a great chance that they get it away. It's going to be a try for Connor. And George Nawupu gets in for the first try. And Ulster in all sorts of trouble. A catastrophic start for the league leaders. And the perfect start for the Westerners. Well, one thing you know at the sports ground you're going to get from Connacht and that's a committed performance the kick was inch perfect well taken by Andrew Trimble but that turnover that counter rucking from Connacht coming forward onto the ball that commitment to the ball at the breakdown very difficult to defend Ulster very short of numbers and an easy run in for Connacht in the end well he couldn't believe his luck the pass was perfect and all Big George had to do was saunter or amble over the Ulster line great start for Connacht and it all came from the penalty and the opening scrum well the crowd have just about settled themselves Dan Parks, who's uh, the league's top scorer by some distance. He scored 119 this season for Connacht. Doesn't normally miss them from this range. And he's pushed it that little bit wide, so that's something of a let-off for Ulster. But really, that was uh, a pretty awful start by Ulster.